Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I am building the Salvatore Mansion from the Vampire Diaries. Now, if you don't, if you never watched the Vampire Diaries and you want to watch it, please mute this video. I don't know what I'm talking about here. There might be spoilers, but if you love the Vampire Diaries and that's why you clicked on it in the first place, let's just talk about the show, please. Because I love the show, I'm obsessed. But before we jump into the video, please subscribe, like the video and comment down below on how you think I did the, this house and what you want to see me do next and whatever you want to comment. Thank you guys so much for that. And let's jump right into the house. So the house was my favorite thing to build because I couldn't figure out, I don't know if I did it correctly. I don't think the house looks that, you know, I don't think I got everything right, obviously. Uh, it's a real house and real houses behave different than in The Sims 4, so you can't rebuild everything that you see in the show in The Sims 4, if that makes sense. But I tried my best to make it look as realistic as possible, uh, because I love The Vampire Diaries and I love this house. Also, I don't think it, that I will be doing a second part to furnish it, because I don't know how to furnish this. I don't know the floor plan, and the floor plan that I googled it's all very weird, like it has a ton of bedrooms and that you never see in the show and I'm kind of confused on how to do this, so maybe I'll do it later on, but not right now, I don't think. Maybe if, if anybody can help me out with the floor plan, that would be nice. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the show because I love the show. So in this house, there are two vampires living here and they are brothers. Stefan and Damon Salvatore, obviously. If you watch the show, you know that. Um, so they're brothers, they on and off like each other for various reasons that I can't get into right now because, you know, that would be a long list of reasons why they don't like each other. But um, yeah, both are in love with one girl named Elena Gilbert and I don't know why they're in love with her. Elena Gilbert is also a doppelganger who's from Catherine Pierce and Catherine Pierce is also a doppelganger and it's this weird story of everybody's everybody's doppelganger and um, spoiler alert again Stefan and Elena are both doppelgangers and they're made to fall in love like they're meant to fall in love by their spell that a witch put on them they're meant to fall in love and have this life together and you know whatever and that's why Damon kind of feels insecure because he wants Elena as well it's such a weird story everybody is dating everybody and it's so wildly entertaining I don't really know why the show is so entertaining but I love it so much like I watched it now I watched it as a teenager for the very first time and then I watched it a couple of weeks ago for the very first time after like 10 years or something um, and I watch it now again because I'm obsessed and I can't stop myself from watching it. It's kind of like one of those comfort shows that everybody has. One of my comfort shows for ne forever was like Riverdale because I always watched Riverdale when I didn't have anything else to watch because it was one of my comfort shows. I don't know why. I don't even like Riverdale, but that much anymore at least. But I just watched it or Stranger Things. Stranger Things I love very deeply. Or Sherlock, you know, there's a lot of things. But anyway, um, I started watching Vampire Diaries again and I have a bunch of questions. I also have a TikTok that I actually am making a lot of the Vampire Diaries related content on because I have so many questions about the Vampire Diaries with words that I can't say on YouTube. So if you want to know what kind of questions I have and if you have any answers, please head over to my TikTok, which is Jay another simmer and answer them maybe maybe you have the same questions maybe we can relate maybe we can discuss it because i'm very curious and yeah so also i just who do you ship on the vampire diaries if you watch the vampire diaries who do you ship i think my favorite ship is actually Car caroline and and klaus like why aren't they ending up together oh again spoiler alert why aren't they ending up together? This is just so sad. They should be endgame. Like, how he says it, he was your first love, I intend to be your last. Like, please. 
Why aren't they dating forever? He deserves it so much. I know he's a bad guy, but he has been treated horribly by his family for the, you know, last uh, thousand years. And then in return, he treats his family horribly as well. I mean, you can kind of understand it. All he wants is to be loved and somebody to be there for him. And I just kind of, I feel bad for him. I don't know why. It's it's really weird when you feel bad for somebody who is as bad as he is. But I just, I think, oh... Also, he's very cute. Just saying. Joseph Morgan, very cute. Um, Joseph Morgan playing Klaus, even cuter. Anyway, oh my gosh. Um, so I date, I, I date them, yeah. I ship them. I also ship human Elena and Stefan and vampire Elena and vampire Damon together because I don't think that vampire Elena fits with Stefan anymore. Stefan changed very much and Elena changed so much too and then Stefan doesn't understand why she wants to date Damon and it's this whole thing and I totally understand why she wants to date Damon all of a sudden because Stefan you did a bunch of horrible things in the past couple of months then you come back and you just expect her to love you still after doing horrible things after treating her horribly granted part of it wasn't your fault but but still you treated her horribly and then you expect her to just be like oh yeah i forgive you i would date you ever like i would date you again of course she's falling in love with a guy who was always there for her who was always by her side and trying to help her who was i mean yes he's also not the nicest person ever he's not very nice to her but you know i don't even know who said that i think it was rose that stefan was there for her and supported her and gave her comfort or something like that i don't remember but damon makes her explore things and makes her go out of her comfort zone and be more you know enjoying life more and everything like that and i think that that is very true and that's why i feel like they fit together better um so yeah i ship them i also i never really ship body and enzo i'm sorry did any does anybody ship Bonnie and Enzo here in this watching this video because I don't want to offend anybody but I like both of them but I don't like both of them together I don't think that they have that much chemistry in the show but yeah do I ship Stefan and Caroline yes kind of I mean yes I do ship them actually Stefan deserves a happy ending and, and Caroline does too but I think Caroline and Klaus are just my ultimate like I'm going to support them forever kind of deal because they're so cute together and he's just completely a changed man when he talks to her it's so sweet sorry why does El Elijah can we talk about Elijah I talked to somebody who said like I don't support Elijah because he's always been you know on Klaus's side and it's not true like Elijah always wanted to kind of do what's best for everybody Elijah has the moral compass has a moral compass which Klaus doesn't really have and Elijah tries to do the best for everybody and not get, harm anybody of course one time he sided with Klaus because he wanted his family back and everybody could totally understand it I think like I would be able to understand it I would want my family back as well if Klaus takes him away that's just kind of blackmail was what Klaus did like you don't do this to me and I will give you my family I promise and that's kind of blackmailing but I mean yeah I love Elijah a lot Kai is very very funny I love Kai I don't know if anybody like come on you have to love Kai right he is so funny with and Silas I don't like Silas but he's very funny as well like these two are just hilarious together um together they're just hilarious in general who else will have love Bonnie I'm so glad that you know she was in the show from front to back which she shouldn't have been according to the author but I'm so glad that she was in the show forever and thank you Ian Sommerholder who made sure that she was in the show from the beginning to the end because without her the show wouldn't be the same uh i don't like matt 
I think that that is very something that everybody can relate to. Who likes Matt? Like Matt is just kind of like annoying. He's just like, oh, I want to, I want every vampire to disappear, but I don't want my friends to disappear, and all my friends are vampires. So, ah, uh, that's a moral dilemma. What am I going to do? Do I, do I want them to disappear or do I want them to stay? Like, I don't. What do I do? Like. He's always whining about those vampires that kind of, you know, do every one harm. But that's like generalizing everybody. Not every vampire is that way. You know, he wants to just make them disappear all in one. But not every vampire is that way. It just would be like if you would say, I don't want humans here because there are humans who do terrible things. Like, that's why I don't like humans and I want them to all to disappear. All my, I don't want humans here. So that doesn't make any sense. Okay, I rambled for way too long, I think. And I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me in the comments below what you like about the Vampire Diaries. If you ever watched it, if you love it, if you hate it. And like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.